Hello, and welcome to a guitar lesson on how to play Absolution by Ghost. I'm Nick Perez from Nick Perez Music. You might have known that by the name of the channel, and I'm going to be your teacher today. So, the song, like most Ghost songs, is down a whole step in D standard. So why don't you tune accordingly, and then we'll get started. There's not too much to learn for Absolution. Um, there's just, you know, a dual guitar solo, but that's really like the main tongue twister of the song. Everything else is pretty straightforward. So let's dive into it, shall we? So we're going to start with the verse, intro, cool part, cool riff, cool riffy thing. Play E power chord, then slide up to your 10th fret on the A string. And we're going 10, 9, 8, 7. So it's... And then if you were doing it as, you know, the one guitarist, you would hit that E again. And you would go 7, 5, 1, and then back to an E power chord. Oh yeah, also, I should mention, we are tuned down a whole step, but I'm still going to refer to everything by, like, if we were in standard tuning. So this is an E. Oh, uh, this would be a D. You get the point. Um, just because it's easier to comprehend it that way. In my mind, at least. If you're doing it as two guitarists, you want to split that up. So, you're going to hit E, and then one of the guitars will play this part. Then you guys are both going to hit E, and the other guitar is going to play this part. Cool. So that's the intro. Then it picks into like the main riff, and it's the same thing. We're doing our power chords, but we're adding this like chugging part. So I'll, I'll just play it real quick. So that's a. So watch my picking hand. It's. Dun, 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 dun. So we have the main riff now. We have that little run that we need to add in there. So we've got... That part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pointer finger, pointer finger, and my middle finger. And I'm going to go to two and three and just do a hammer on and pull off. Two, three, two, and come down to the A string and I'm going to go five, four with my pinky and my ring. Then, um, how I do it is I add two open E strings. I don't know if they're necessarily in there, but it sounds cool. It has some thud and girth and, you know, oomph to the riff. We all like oomph in our riffs. So we got... Then we're going to just come down to the E string and play three, four, three, and we're back into it. Um, so the whole thing is going to go. Then a couple times um, in the song, we go up when we're playing this riff and have this cool little, uh, I guess, fill, if you want to. Let's call it a fill. Yeah, let's do that. That's all you're doing is you're going to slide up to 11 on A and then 13 on E. Then the verse, we're just going to chill for a little bit. Ever since you've been born, you've been dying, blah, 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 blah. And then we come in with that, uh... So yeah, that's, that's basically that riff. You can kind of think of it as two halves. We have the part where it's 10, 9, 8, 7. And then the second half, which is 7, 5, 1. And then we'll have that cool little riff. Ooh, that was really sloppy. My bad. Alright, pre-chorus is I just chug the open E, 
one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and six and two and three and four and so the first time around think of it as four measures three are open e one of them is six one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four and Second time's a little different. We still have that open E. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and. Then we have this like triplet kind of feel. Triplet, triplet, triplet. Maybe it's not a triplet, but it's kind of the da 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 The six and zero. Then we go back to that cool little riff that we had in the uh, intro verse thing. Cool riff. We're just doing that part. So, two, three, two on D, five, four on A. Then to go to the chorus, we're gonna hit the open A string, then seven on the D string, and back to A. So we get that power of the, or not power of the octave. So that whole pre-chorus into the chorus is gonna go something like this. Two and There we go to a power chord. A, G, D, A. And that's the first part of the chorus. We have this little tag, which is open A, two on A, three on A, and we go back. So we go up. It's like you're climbing the mountain, you're coming back down the mountain. Except it's not really a mountain, it's only three notes, so it's really like a beginner ski slope. Um, so we're going up the beginner sleep that ah, beginner ski slope. And we're hitting open E at the end. So it's like we were on the ski slope, came back down, and then we fell because we're just a beginner and don't know how to ski. So we go down to the open E. Then we're gonna go up to seven on the A string. Seven, six. Five. Then we go back to that octave. You'll be down on your knees and you'll cry. Ski slope, fall, chromatic. And then to get back to the cool riff, I just do a little slide. And you can also check out my cover video that I did like two years ago if you want to see it played in like real time. So those are basically the super important parts of the song. Now we're gonna learn the dual guitar solos. So that bridge with all the synths, it's kind of got like a, like the Who vibe to it with all the synthesized stuff going on. Um, let's do the one guitar part first. So it's just an A, G, D, to an F, back to A. And you do that twice. The second part, you go up to seven and replay these octaves, which are just like your power chord, but we're not playing the fifth. So if you're playing, you know, a two note power chord, just move this finger up one string and mute the middle string. Um, and if you play a two note power chord, just, you know, lift your ring finger. I mean, sorry, a three note power chord. So we're going seven, ten, nine, eight, and then up to twelve. So again, seven, ten, nine, eight, twelve. Cool. Now we're going to dig into this um, dual guitar solo. Let's do that. That'll be a lot of fun. Okay, let's learn the um, right ear first. So the first part of the solo repeats twice, which is nice because we don't have to learn as much stuff to sound awesome. So let's do that. So what is that exactly? I will, I will tell you what that is exactly. 
So starts on the G string. We're going 14, 12, 14, 12, 11, 12, 11. Really slow now. Then after that I'm going to go to the D string and play 12 and 14 and I'm going to bend 14. And I'm going to bring it back down. So we got 12, 14, bend, release. Second part of that is we're going to jump up to 15, no not 15, 17 on the B string, excuse me. 17, 15, 17. Then we're gonna go up to the E string and bend 15 up. Bring it up and down, back to 17 on B. Then we're gonna slide down to uh, 12 and bend that up a little bit. And then we're gonna land on 10 on the B string. So, so that whole first part of the solo goes like this. second part of the whole solo is this little octave slide thing that we're going to do. And both guitars do this in unison. It's going to start on three, and if you remember, we make our octave by, um, you know, it's like a power chord, but we have a string between us, and we're going to mute that middle string. So it's going to go three to five. Think of it is you're gonna you're gonna play once and slide every time you drum. So except when you get there. So it's pick, slide, pick, slide, pick, slide, pick. I guess you do slide. It's just you're going backwards now. Pick, slide, pick, slide, pick, slide, pick, slide, pick, slide, pick, slide. Yeah. All right. Now we got this tricky part because it's in I think it's in six. All right, so let's let's break this down. So we have this little box shape, which is really just 15 and 17 on both strings. 15 to 17 on B, 15 to 17 on E, then we're reversing it. And it just keeps looping into each other. You do this six times. And you have that little lick at the end. You're gonna go back to 17 like you would go back up, and then you go back down to 15, and you go into the G string to 17, 16, 17, 14. I lost count. And then we're going back to that second half of the first part of the solo. This is in the left ear. This is the whole solo. Back to the chorus. Cool. Um, let's move on to the next part of the solo. So this is the second harmony in the solo. Um, and let's get to it. So what's cool is we already know this part. Alright, so we don't have to learn that. We already learned that part of the solo, so it's pretty gnarly. Let's learn the harmonies. So 
So it starts on the D string. We're gonna go to 11, to nine, back to 11, back to nine. It's a little dance. Da -da -da -da. That was so off pitch, oh my God. That was, that, the, the pitches coming out of my mouth and the pitches on the guitar were not in sync there, but you're not here for that. You're here to learn the solo. Um, so 11, nine, 11, nine, seven, nine, seven. Then we're gonna go play seven again. Hit nine, bend and release, just like we did in the other one. Same thing. And they're all in the D strings, so that's kind of cool. So far, we got this part. Now we're gonna jump up to 13 on the B string. Back to down to 12, back to 13. We're gonna bend 15 up and down. That was a little, that was a little sharp. Don't bend it that sharp. A little flat, don't bend it a little flat. You wanna get that perfect. So we're going to bend 15 up and down, go to um, 13, bend down to 12 on G, bend that one, and then, and then on 11. So without all my yapping, that goes like this. This part that we already learned. And then we have the harmony, which is really cool. Um, it's another box shape. You can steal this and put it in your own stuff and it sounds really cool. But, so we're gonna do that. Then we have this little riff where we're gonna go up. Then we're gonna go to 13, to 12, to 10, to 12 on G, back up to 10 on B, and end on 10 on G. So it's. And then we go back to that first part. I'll just say the tag of that first part. So that whole solo is going to go like this. Thanks for checking the video out guys and gals. I hope you enjoy playing Absolution on your guitar. If you feel so inclined, feel free to subscribe, like the video, um, it would mean the world to me. And check back because I'm going to try to do a couple more lessons. I know there's plenty of ghost lessons already out on the internet, but everybody learns differently so the more resources there are to learn these songs, the better off we all are. So definitely check back for some more tips and tutorials on how to play these awesome, awesome Ghost songs. And other songs, too. You know, maybe whatever you guys want to learn, I'll try to take a stab at it. But cool. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I will see you next time. Um, so what's kind of cool is we already know this part. Ah, okay. Apparently, I don't know that part. So what's cool is we already know this part.